Hi guys, Rebecca Black here. I'm gonna have to excuse this hair. That's the next part of my of my getting ready process this morning. But I was in here doing my eyeshadow and I have a dinner meeting tonight and I'm gonna be out of the house all day. And so I was thinking that I wanted to do a little bit more of a dramatic eye, but I didn't want it to be so dramatic that it was too much for daytime. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to create a custom cocktail of eyeshadow and I wanted to use, um, let me turn this around so you can. Okay, so I wanted to create, this is Smoky Mama. It's one of my favorite um, smoky eye things, my little subtle eye. Um, tutorial that I did and then this other one here is Swiss Cocoa. So on from lash line to brow I have the vanilla frosting and our pressed minerals and one thing that I love about these these palettes here is hang on one second let me I'll turn this back around and see if we can get it to, to show you. So you'll see these little holes on the back and this is all future stuff but we're gonna work with this one right here so you can just take your little bobby pin and push it forward and pop that out it's magnetic so whenever you need a refill of just one color you don't have to purchase the whole palette again so I absolutely love 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 that um, super 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 functional so again I'm gonna turn it back around and show you what colors I'm working with so I have the vanilla frosting from lash line to brow and then I'm going to do like a medium smoky eye with my custom eyeshadow cocktail. Hey pretty. How are you this morning right now? We're doing some custom eyeshadow cocktailing here. Um, I wanted a look that was a little more dramatic than my subtle smoky eye but not as dramatic as like a full blown we're going to the Oscars kind of thing. So what I'm working with is Smoky Mama and Swiss Cocoa. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of the Smoky Mama on there and I'm gonna use my famous trick, bang it on the bathroom counter. There's my notes, that's all the stuff that I'm working on today. <laughs> and then you're gonna pick up some of the Swiss Cocoa. Okay, so look at that brush saturation right there. You see how I have it on one side of the brush as opposed to the other? And I'm gonna bang that in there too. And you can see where I've already banged out some of in my sink. But I just kinda like dust off the extras there. Okay, so then I'm going to turn around right here. And I've already done this. I'm almost finished with this eye. This eye is as dark as I want it to be. But you see how it's just, a, it's, it's a little more dramatic than, um, than my subtle smoky eye. This is probably about the look that I go for with my subtle smoky eye. You know, just not too, too, too much, just enough for a little bit of a shadow. Um, but the, the minerals are right there. And first I put on the smoky mama, a little bit of that, and then more Swiss cocoa because I want it to be more of a brown. I want it to have that really uh, like cool brown color as opposed to the super ice cold smoky mama that is just absolutely gorgeous and makes my blue eyes fair skin dark hair just completely completely pop but I wanted to add a little more warmth to it so we're gonna be again if you haven't seen my smoky eye tutorial okay whenever you're starting you want to start at the corner of your iris your iris is the pigmented portion of your eye right there so you want to start right there and we keep that brush to the skin the whole time. We're not using a lot of pressure. We're just gently rocking back and forth right there because you want that to be the darkest spot. And then you can come down to the corner there. If you want to, you can do a gentle triangle that way. That just creates a little tiny bit more depth. Good morning, Donna. And then you just come back. So I did pick up after I, I rocked back and forth there Stay touch, I'm in contact with my skin the whole time. Come to the edge, see the edge of your eyelid right there. Then come, do a little triangle right there. Go back and then pick up. And then come 
and then gently, you'll have almost no minerals left on your brush at this point, but that's exactly what you want, because you want it to do a soft, soft, soft ombre there on the eyes. So you can see that the eyes are now even. Eyes are like eyebrows. You want them to be sisters, not twins. Nobody gets <clears throat> perfect balance or symmetry on anything you do. So please do not strive for perfection. That is one of the most beautiful things about, um, about doing makeup is that it doesn't have to be perfect to look good. So this is a great example of that. But I will show you one more time how I do this is I pour a little more organized here. So I pour some of the Smoky Mama into, into my lid, okay? And then I pour some of the Swiss Cocoa into the lid as well. I always pour more Swiss Cocoa than Smoky Mama because I use more Swiss Cocoa in this particular cocktail um, than I use of the Smoky Mama. So again, you put just a little bit of the Smoky Mama on there. And the reason you only put a little bit of that on there, bang it in there, is because what goes into your brush first is the, the top layer, the sheer sheen that you, that you see. So I would do a close up of my eye and kind of show you what that, that looks like. So I dipped a little bit in the Smoky Mama. I'm staying on the one side of the brush. So right there and then dip it into your Swiss cocoa. So you see, I picked up a lot more of that, but I'm going to work that into the brush. Okay, so you see even some's coming down on my hand. That's a-okay. Just make sure you don't have so much on there. It's kind of crazy. Do you put shadow under your eyes as an eye pencil? No, I don't. And the reason that I particularly don't, it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite looks if I'm doing a photo shoot because it really brings your eyes out. But my natural lashes are so long, even without the lash extensions that I do. With, once you put um, the lash extensions on me for a daytime look, if I line underneath my eye, it's, it's too dramatic. It's way too dramatic. So for me personally, I do not wear eyeshadow under my eyes. But if you have small eyes, <clears throat> if you have hazel eyes, if you have deep set eyes or anything like that, this mixture right here would make an amazing, amazing eye opener. Hello, Miss Amy Kennedy, one of my favorite people on the face of the earth. So we're doing custom eyeshadow cocktails, Amy. So I'll show you what we're what we're working on. We are we are mixing the two colors, Smoky Mama and Swiss Cocoa. So I wanted a brown that had a little bit of a cool finish to it. So that is what we did. So you can see right there. Let's get you some good. So see how absolutely gorgeous that color is. It is, it's very warm because of the Swiss cocoa, but it has the softest, cool finish to it because of that light little bit of Smoky Mama that we put on the brush at first. So, I have green eyes and they're not too small. I don't normally, but just wondering. Yeah, um, I, I do love lining under the eyes and get a little more light there. I do love lining under the eyes, especially whenever you really want to show up in pictures uh, and stuff like that. It's just not an everyday look for myself personally. But um, in the green eyes, the, the purples, the mulberry wines, the misty gold would look amazing on you. Um, so does anybody have any, any questions? Let's see, did I miss anybody's questions up there? I did not, did not. Okay, so I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see what your custom eyeshadow cocktails are. So start blending ladies, start making your cocktails and share with everyone else what colors you love blending together. I lined the top with Smoky Mama. 
I have heavy lids though, yeah. Smoky Mama makes an amazing, amazing eye opener because you can use um, a small little liner brush. My brushes are over there, so I don't, let me get up and get them. But you wet them and dip them into that, into that Smoky Mama and you do a heavier, a heavier lining on the outside of the eye and make it thicker so it gives that, um, it gives that optical illusion that you have more, more eyelid and less eye space, less skin there on top of the, on top of the lids. Yes, 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 yes. Miss Raynell, you are, you are our makeup guru lady. I've seen some of your work doing it on there. So Raynell, did you get a chance to see my brush saturation where I showed everyone how to do, um, liquid foundation with our moisturizer? Like how that, that is just such such a game changer and the flexibility of that, then people can control how much moisture they want in their, in their foundation. Whenever you are able to make it on your own, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. But I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, if anybody, hello, Miss Katie Mamad. We're creating some eyeshadow cocktails, girl. You're gonna love these. You'll have to go back and watch from from the beginning, but basically, I wanted a little bit of a heavier smoky eye than my subtle smoky eye that I have done for you guys before. So I wanted it to be brown with a little bit of coolness to it. So I took my little brush and I put a little bit of smoky mama on it first. I just sprinkled it in the in the lid, put a little bit on there shake it in so you can't even really see there's much in there. And then you have Swiss Cocoa. The reason you put your Smoky Mama in first, that's the color that shows up on top. So that's why that color looks so nice and it looks really warm, but it has that depth of that like smoky gray to it. And then, so now we have our Smoky Mama on there and now we're gonna add our Swiss Cocoa and you're gonna add more of the Swiss Cocoa and keep it on one side of the brush. Um, and you bang, bang, bang it in, tap off any excess. And then I'll do this right here on my hand so you can, so you can see. But it's like the coolest, prettiest brown with like the hint of gray. So you can kind of see, it almost makes it look like a, a purpley, purpley gray there's a color um in another cosmetic that i that i used to wear um called sable the mac pressed eyeshadows and this is my version of that sable because it really does look like the sable hair of um of makeup brushes um with a beautiful beautiful purpley tint so anyway for those for those green eyes you have this smoky mama oh Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So anyways, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. See you ladies next week. Love you.